Three bright sparks. Stop it now, Harry! Three big shots. Bright sparks, I don't want to see any tears or tantrums whenever you lose. Two new products. I'm thinking! But only one team can win. I have the result right here in my hand. Beat the boss. I'm Sarah Khan, and this is Beat the Boss. Three bright sparks compete against three big shots to create a brand new product for the children's market. The question is, who knows what you really want? So it's game on for today's challenge. Our teams must create a brand new board game, one that will bring out everyone's winning streak. Aiming to win the Beat the Boss trophy are the three bright sparks. Harry, Charlotte and Daniel. Harry, top goal scorer for his local club, he's a real winner. We might as well walk away now because obviously we're going to win. Charlotte, captain of her football team, she doesn't like losing. The bright sparks have loads of really good skills and we're going to use them against you. And guitar playing Daniel, will he know which strings to pull to beat the boss? Big shots, get out of town, this is our territory. That's the bright sparks, but what about their competition? It's time to meet the big shots. They're Shauna, Sid and Denise. Award-winning Shauna is the brains behind a multi-million pound civil engineering company. We know what we're doing. Why do you think you've got a chance? Sid is boss of a top marketing company making websites for some of the biggest firms in the UK. I've got 10 years experience running a company. You haven't. Senior executive Denise works for a foreign exchange company which trades a whopping £7 billion a year. I know what I'm doing. I have no doubt that we're going to win. Two top teams. The big shots with 34 years of business experience. And the bright sparks who really know what you want. The battle to win the Beat the Boss trophy begins. It's time to deliver the brief. Big shots. Oh, nice Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, excellent. You? Excellent. Very excited. Beep, 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 beep. Are you the winning team? No question about it. Is End it? of story. Full stop. We're winning. We've been kids, and it's certainly more experience to be able to, to nail them. You sound very confident. Are you ready to receive your brief? Definitely. Yes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Bring it on. Your team must think outside the box to create a brand new children's board game. The winning product can be on any subject and the players must move around the board to complete the game. Yeah, we can do that. That's a challenge. Oh, excellent. Okay. <laughs> How confident are you feeling now? Very confident. Very. Is there any chance we could do something else? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, one of the most important things that you must do is carry out market research. It's very important you get this right, because if you don't, you'll be in trouble. The board game business will be a tough one to win, with nearly 6,000 games on the market. It's worth a staggering £200 million. We've sent the bright spots to the UK's top toy fair for some business tips, and the big shots are shopping to see what you might want to buy. Yep. We can't really use that. So we've never seen so much toys. There's a lot to see and the bright spots are easily distracted. They kept on going on the scale electrics and looking at different things than, rather than the board games. We have had arguments, but they have been sorted out. This is the one we've got to go now. They sort of like need me to keep them under control. Harry, so can it down. Like we really need to... Ah! There's going to be loads more. Oh, so now you listen. It's been a while since the Big Shots played games, so they're checking out what's on the shelves. Let's see what's new here. Uh, I'm amazed with the number of games that are on the market, which makes it seem even a little bit more, even more daunting, because I know how many other people have tried, and uh, some of them have definitely failed. As the trolley stacks up, so do the Big Shots' ideas, and Sid certainly thinks he's onto a winner. 
of slime. And every time you put one down, it farts. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hungry hippos go like that, and then you get fart sound. Brilliant. And electric Brilliant. Shot. Well, the one thing that we are thinking about is is the board game uh, for Beat the Boss. You know, we think, well, why not? It's such a popular program. And then something that's got some electrics and fart noises, maybe. The Bright Sparks are making up for lost time with some furious note taking. Well, I think that we could use it in our little board game somehow. Y yeah, yeah. You string and ball. Noise, really? put noise down. Yeah, noise. Just put something to do with countries. Violence. Children like like eating stuff, don't they? Violence, it is. Something like trap mountains. We have to come up something with something unusual because then the um, children will like it. Maybe something with traps and questions and um, stuff like that. To get help with their list of ideas, they've sought out board game expert Brian Ellis. So what should we look out for in games of the future? Well, I think games are becoming more three-dimensional. So if you go around here, you'll see lots of games that work in cubes stacking up. So they work three-dimensionally as well as just on a flat board. The shopping trip's gone well, but now the big shots are off to meet their target market. It's really nice to come in and see kids playing board games to find out exactly what they like. My advice for the teens would be to put it in a really good box. Something with easy instructions. Oh, I like playing um, games with two or more players. It's just fun, really. Fun. It's very fun. I'm feeling a lot more confident having met the kids here, done our market research. It's been absolutely brilliant. It's given us a lot of good ideas. Meanwhile, the Bright Sparks have met up with John Mariani, a board game inventor who's worked on Trivial Pursuit and who wants to be a millionaire. Is there um, anything we shouldn't do and avoid when we're trying to make a board game? I think the subject needs to be interesting. If it's a boring subject to start with, then it's going to be a boring game. And, and really, games are about having fun. The big shots are also getting expert help from Nathan and James, who at the age of 13 and 8 have already designed two award-winning games. And I think they stand a good chance of winning. If they keep their games simple, make it colourful, eye-catching, and eat quite easy to play. Do you like board games? or? I've just met the big shots and... They've asked me lots of questions, so I think they're trying to steal some of our ideas. Both teams have finished their market research and now have to come up with a product idea. It's time for the brainstorm. Your team must think outside the box to create a brand new children's board game. The winning product can be on any subject and players must move around the board to complete the game. I'm talking to James and Nathan. Back from their research, the big shots begin a list of their findings, whilst the bright spots are already designing something. Um, so what ideas do we have? We thought about the mountain thing, didn't we? Yeah, have a mountain in the middle and then the board's going round it. Something yellow like and that. orange. How about the pyramids are normally orange and yellow. What, where would we put the red and yellow red? If we had these, all these ideas, we could have put it up into one thing. What is this? It's our board game. Well, what does it do? How do you play this game? Well, you sort of go around the, a mountain. What is your subject? Egyptian. Right, so that you just come up with that already. You're going to go with Egypt. What three things did you learn from your market research? We learned that you can't just make it all up. Sire came in and then she put us down even further, which I didn't like. I've no idea, looking at that, what it, what it is. At the Big Shots base, their ideas are starting to take shape. Hey, don't forget, we're going to have Sarah in there as mm. well. Oh, yeah, I'm looking rubbish over here. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. Wow, we've moved on. We have? Yeah. So, I'm funny enough, we'd actually like you to be part of our game. Fantastic. What's it called? Beat the Boss. Original. Yeah, it is, absolutely. <laughs> it, this isn't the board they're playing on. What's this? This is the box. So you've drawn the box yeah. before the game. Boom. Is that sensible, drawing fine, a box fine, before the game? Sarah came in, and uh, to be honest, a little bit earlier than we thought, and I was hoping to have a few more of the other things done to show her. We're actually going to be just literally drawing that out in the next ten minutes. You will? 
Give us 15, then. We could have counters. The picture could be someone falling down a trap door. Or you could have the start there and finish there, and you could have the trap door there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Bright Sparks are all on board with their Egyptian-themed game, but they're still having trouble with the details. We need to look up some hard questions, questions about yeah. the yeah, Egyptians. So not questions about the Egyptians. The whole thing's about Egyptians. Egypt Treasure. It's related to Egypt. It's Egyptian treasure, and all the tombs are Egyptians. But then the questions are general knowledge. Yeah, they could be about anything. General knowledge. Yeah, put that. In. Right, I want to play your game. Tell me about it. Yeah. yeah. So, so if I rolled a three, then you rolled a two. I would go first. So, so the highest, highest number. Highest number goes first. Where's that on your instructions? I'll just put that in. What's this? Green coin, blue chance card. So I think you should play the game yourself and then come up yeah. with the instructions yeah. and what needs to be done. OK? okay? Yeah. Good luck. Thank right. You. We need to be colouring. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just play the game ourselves. No, but it's Gold coins, keys, trap doors. I am totally confused. They need to know how to play their own game. Taking a product from mm -hmm. inception so research, design, manufacture, sell, maybe, sort of thing. If we can work on the product life cycle. Sorry. The big shots have come up with a game based on Beat the Boss, but are they missing one vital ingredient? It's just fun, really. Fun. It's very fun. Or do an impersonation of a frog. Impersonate... Finally, the big shots are using their market research. So you all look very pleased with yourself. Got lots yes. of smiles. Are you loving this idea? I think it's going to work. I think they're going to understand this idea of moving around and collecting cards. You then get the chance to go into the boardroom and then you ask a final question. When the game eventually got a life, they came up with Beat the Boss. That's a really good idea. But the question is, will they be beaten by the bright sparks at their own game? Colour. Yeah, that's it! You have, you have different colour cards every time you land on a square. Bonus point. Life. Pink. Let's have four. Huh? Pyramid plunder. Been busy. Yeah. yeah. So, Very can busy. you please explain your game to me? And the aim of the game is go around the board and collect all the keys. And there's booby traps on the way. And when it comes to the finish line, you have to try and get all the keys and try the pyramid. And if you unlock the pyramid door, you win. Fantastic! That sounds like a really good idea. This was a very hard challenge. It's not easy coming up with a complete board game, so well done. The next thing you're going to do is pitch this idea to the leading board game manufacturer who's going to make this for you. In preparation for the pitch, the Bright Sparks have drawn up their Egyptian game, Pyramid Plunder, which involves collecting keys to win gold coins. And the Big Shots have put together a computer presentation with a model of their Beat the Boss board game where players win money. Interestingly, they've also added a fart machine. The pressure's on as the teams must pitch their ideas to Hasbro, the UK's biggest board game company. They'll be facing not one, but four Big Bosses. And the teams are about to meet for the first time. I'm really looking forward to meeting Bright Sparks today. I think they're going to be pretty feisty. They're a waste of space, blood and organs. Yeah, we've got definitely got the upper hand on this one. I'm very excited, actually. Not nervous. But at the end of the day, we're going to pull out any dirty trick that we can to win this game. We might as well walk away now, because it's obvious we're going to win. Oh, you're really scary. <laughs> So guys, have you got your tissues with you? You're going to need them when you lose and cry. Hi, I'm Joanne, head of games. We're going to flip the coin. So what would you like to call? We're going tails. Tails. OK. I'm afraid it's heads. You guys want to go first? You guys can go first. Yep. Yeah. 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 The Bright Sparks are first to face the company's top bosses. It's a daunting task. Hi. Hello. Our board game is called Pyramid Plunder. And the aim of the game is to get round the board collecting keys. If you have the right key, it opens the uh, pyramid. Yeah. And the counters are going to be mummies. Yeah. yeah. It was a bit nerve-wracking at first, but then after a little bit, I started to get more and more comfortable. 
because they understood what we were saying. I like it. I think this is a really strong game with a really strong theme. I like it too. What I would say... Really good board game designers said that our board game was good, so I'm really relieved. Meanwhile, the big shots are treating it just like another day in the office. Now, we aren't finalising our pitch at the moment, um, but it's, it's sort of, to be honest, in the bag. I'll do it like this. The bright then... spots are getting flustered by the pressure and are a little confused. If you get the question right, you get a... How many coins do you get? You get a question No, if you get a question right, you have forward three spaces. Oh, because last time you said that I would get coins. Right, OK. Instructions. Thank you. They're going to be general knowledge questions. Really, there seems to be good. two things going on here. There's, it's a general knowledge game and also a, a pyramid game. What you say is we kind of get rid of the general knowledge questions. You may want to think about that. OK. okay. It's been Thank a you. tough pitch, but they leave with some expert That's advice. The big shots are used to talking to big bosses and waste no time launching into their professional pitch. The idea is that the players go around the board and they collect four cards. The winner is the player or team that collects all four cards and makes it first to beat the boss HQ, which actually... Despite all their preparation, the Big Shots pitch takes a bad turn. Are you concerned that maybe the gameplay is too close to Monopoly? I think it looks a little bit too adult at the moment. There's not really much fun in the, in the game board. Then I think there needs to be a little bit more fun. Fart machines are always fun. Is that not just a cheap gag? And that's not their only problem. The bright sparks can't resist poking their noses in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at it, it was quite good. Yeah, that was fun. <coughs> Mum made the game board. Yeah, but we're ours was better. They've made it though. I know. How can they do that? With the pitches over, how do the experts rate the two games? I thought the Bright Sparks was really exciting, really enthusiastic. And the Big Shots, we felt that it was very professional, they'd really done their research, but actually it really needed some fun. The Bright Sparks need to decide what to do about their questions, while the Big Shots could do with adding some much-needed fun. No, I don't... I'm not sure. I think, I think we've kept it pretty simple. Mm -hmm. and I think we should have to stick to our guns in some ways. The Bright Sparks are finding their question problem very tricky. Questions for the coins. Yep. Thinking! Are we going to do different questions or are we going to do take them, scrap them? Scrap them. They said not to do general knowledge questions. It's our, it's our game board. They said it would, might make them a bit complicated. It would make it too confusing. Are you okay, Daniel? Said no one is listening to me. We are listening to you, Dan. It's time for both teams to start listening and work with board game designer Catherine and graphic designer Steve. Catherine is trying to increase the Big Shot's fun factor. We think we're going to take on board some of the things you suggested, mm -hmm. but not all of them. Right, so which ones will they be? They, they seemed a little bit resistant um, when I was talking about trying to make, trying to add some fun elements into the game. We did th think about these things. Mm. And part of it is actually we were thinking to keep it simple. And the bright spots who've sorted out their differences are now focusing on the colour scheme and packaging. I think I have something like that for the sky. I think that would work, yeah, I think that would work well. we just got to make sure that some of the colours aren't too close to each other, so if you land on a, no, on a purple, it's not, just, it's not too much like a pink. Thanks, Dave. Yes. As the team swap experts, the more confident Bright Sparks take a closer look at the competition's designs. Yes! And we're, it's really rubbish. So it's obvious we're going to win. Absolute rubbish. The Bright Sparks have been devious, completely underhand, everything that we expected them to be. With their design safely returned, the Big Shots are already plotting their revenge. And as far as sort of the, the box means, one of the ideas to actually have those three nutters, um, bright sparks, <laughs> sorry, um, have the three bright sparks actually on the box. Probably the best way to go would probably yeah. the illustration yeah. route. Yeah, yeah. That. And the bright sparks are working on a device to open the pyramid doors. 
Do you want to take, you take one of those and you take one of those, touch it to the top. Whoa. Oh look, see that comes off. I feel much better now because we've got a good idea of what our pyramid and um, pyramid panda is going to look like. Well today's gone really well because the company have gave us advice and tips and I'm really happy with the game. Today's been great. It's been a bit of a roller coaster from meeting the Bright Sparks to having our ideas challenged to coming up with a final design. Both teams are confident, but what do the experts think? The uh, Bright Sparks have literally taken everything on board and sort of really made their game much more exciting. The Big Shots, I think they've taken it on board and thrown it out. But it's not up to Joanne. That's the job of our 25 expert judges. The games have been made, but who will win? It's time to meet at the Beat the Boss headquarters to find out which one of them has bagged the trophy. It's decision day. It's a big day and I've, I'm really confident and really excited. I think we'll be devastated if we lose. I just really want to go in that limo because I haven't ever been in one. <laughs> I really think we've got a good chance. You might as well book your bus tickets ready because we're going to win. Bright Sparks, this is a day of reckoning. Your game is going to have to be good to beat ours. Welcome to the Beat the Boss boardroom. You're going to lose, we're going to win. Losing. You're going to lose. OK, teams, OK. Now, today, you're going to see your products for the very first time. Walk this way. Are you ready to see your product? Yes. Definitely. OK. Oh, wow. <laughs> Beat the boss board game. So I've got one thing to say to that. That's right. Yay! <laughs> so tell me quickly about the game. Uh, we move around the board, and every time you land on the yellow thing, you pick up a yellow card. You have to do whatever it says. Um, and if you get it right, then you press the green button. And if you get it wrong, you press the red button. That's how easy can mm -hmm. it be. Shauna, what do you think about your product? I'm really pleased. Mm. It's just lovely, bright and colourful. It's just what we wanted. Is there a fart sound at some point? <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's brilliant. Guys, what do you think about their product? Rubbish. Uh, that does not look like me. It's not too bad. Yeah, I think it's right. very good like this. Uh -huh. hairband on. Actually, I like it, because it's a perfect display of a rubbish board game. Let's see what your competition's got to offer. OK, guys, well... Are you ready to yes. see your yeah. board game? Yeah. Yep. Daniel, can you give me a hand, please? Wow, wow. there you go. Wicked. Oh. Pyramid plunder. And the mummy tokens, they're amazing. Yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah. Uh, Oi! <laughs> Ignore them, Daniel. And you'd move around the board collecting coins and keys. And when you get to here, you try a key. And if it opens, you, you take the number of coins that it says there and move on to the next one. Big Shots, what do you think about Pyramid Plunder? It looks, looks really good. good. Yeah. It doesn't have a fart noise. They just wanted like, it to be a comedy. Oh, it is comedy. We've heard what you both think of your products, but what's important is what does your target market think? We asked 25 judges to look at both games, and if you sit down, we'll find out exactly what they had to say. To make it fair, our judges don't know who's made which game. First up is the Big Shots with their Beat the Boss business game. I like Beat the Boss because you can win money, there's a fart machine, and also there's a lot of questions that you need to use your brain for. <laughs> Beat the Boss wasn't a very good game because it copied Monopoly. Shame on you! Challenges, we love them, don't we? Excellent. And land on a particular... I think the beat the boss rules are quite hard to understand. When you press right, they uh, clap, and when you don't get right, they boo. So that's the best thing about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's your fart noises, yeah. Fart noises, <laughs> Next up, the Bright Sparks Pyramid Plunder. I think the game is really cool. 
then it didn't really tell you instruction, it just told you like take coins and stuff. It wasn't that good really. I think it's really cool how some of you can be trackers and some of you can be mummies. Mm, yes. It's quite basic. You can understand the game straight away and then get bored of it easily. It's a lot more fun and and it's got a pyramid sticking out of it which gives it a lot of character. Time to vote. Bright Sparks, our judges loved the pyramid in the centre of your game, but they thought it was a little bit too basic. Big Shots, our judges loved the fact that you could win lots of money on your game, but they felt that the instructions were a little bit too difficult to understand. So, who did our judges vote as the overall winner of the Beat the Boss trophy? I have the result right here in my hand. Come on, get it over with. The winner of the Beat the Boss board game product by a staggering 23 votes to two. Oh, come on, this landslide who's ever won. It's very, very rare on this programme. It's the Bright Sparks! <laughs> well, well done! done. Well done! <laughs> well done! <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Congratulations, Bright Sparks. Come and get your trophy. <laughs> well done! Congratulations! There you go. You've got your hands on the trophy. You beat the bosses. How does it feel? Oh, really great. great. There you go. Oh, yay! Oh, yes! Well done. Well, listen, there is a limousine waiting for you outside to take you away. And Big Shots, I'm really sorry, but it's the bus home for you. Come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> Congratulations, Bright Sparks. And you won by a landslide. That I mean, was the best bit. Did, Did you see their faces? I prefer to be in the with limo than waiting at the bus stop, but uh, that's where it goes. I think one word sums up how I'm feeling right now. Gutted. Really don't know where it all went wrong. I thought we had it with the fart noises, but it wasn't what they wanted. Right, Sparks? Well done. We are in the gym! We're the winners! Have a nice time the bus! Shame on you, really. Shame on you.